What's up guys, it's me Dolphinatic and welcome to my very first Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle against Red J, also known as Giga Games X2 on Twitter. I'll leave a link to his Twitter in the description. So yes, this is uh, Oras OU, but in-game. Oh my god, actual in-game. I am a naughty European and uh, have uh, decided that I'm from Australia for this week. So uh, this is how I got this game early. Now, thank you Fufu for recording this. Uh, for me, basically. Uh, we had a battle against him, which he uploaded to his channel, so I might leave a link to that. I get absolutely destroyed, but you might enjoy it anyway. Quick overview of the teams. He has Mega Altaria, uh, Weavile, Excadrill, Hippowdon, uh, I've got what it's called, Blue Blue Rabbit thing, Azumarill, that's the one, uh, the standard Rotom Wash, and then my team, we have got the Greninja, the Zapdos, the Noivern, the Mega Gallade, which is absolutely awesome. Can I add, guys, it's so, oh, it just looks so cool. Basically, I just love Mega Galley. I have my Heatran and my Garchomp. So I did use this team against Fu. Basically, what I learned was Mega Sabalai completely shuts down Mega Gallade. Basically. So yeah, if you if you come across a uh, Sabalai, don't use a Gallade. Basically is all I can say. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna get into this battle. I am I was so hyped. I love this song as well, the rival theme. If you don't yeah, sorry if this spoils anything for you, but it's such a good song, you need to hear it for the game's even now. Here I make my first pro play of this battle. I go for the spikes, expecting to want to go for the vault switch here. Wasn't expecting them to go for the will-o'-wisp, because obviously I'm not going to be physical. Well, I could be the one carrying gunk shot, but I'm not. I'm all special still. Greninja still being the same pest as he was in X and Y. Oh, you. I go for the spikes, though, and I think here he expects me to go for another layer of spikes. I decided to go for Dark Pulse to see how much damage I could do to that Rotom. But the fact he switches in this Altaria, and it does so much damage, means I can basically take it out with an Ice Beam next turn. Now here, I, if I was him, I would have switched out into his Azumarill. Because um, I know that he uh, he's not choiced with his Azumarill, and he's not got Life Orb. So I'm only assuming he's the Assault Vest set. And Azumarill completely walls this Greninja. So he should have really swapped out instead of Mega Evolving into Altaria. Because this Altaria just dies through an Ice Beam. So, it was a waste of Mega Altaria, but it was nice to see it in its big old puffiness that it stole from that Lopunny. Like, Lopunny got shaved when it Mega Evolves and Altaria gained all its hair. Anyway, in comes Illumini. Uh, Il no, Illumni. Illumni, that's the one. <laughs> I can't... How can you... That's not even a word. Anyway, um, this Weavile gets hurt by the spikes. The spikes obviously do help me throughout the whole battle. Um... But I come into Heatran here, expecting the potential fake out, also thinking I can take any move he wants to go for, apart from a potential Brick Break or Low Sweep, um, which I don't know if he actually carries, I doubt he does, because uh, I, I took a, a risk basically at the, end, uh, at the next turn. Uh, I do recover my lefties, which means he actually done more damage to himself that turn. He does switch, which kind of tells me he doesn't have a fighting type move. Uh, or he, he thinks he won't kill me with it and I can kill him with a Lava Plume. However, I go for the Toxic expecting this switch into the Rotom, which was quite obvious because obviously it's a water type. And it's a defensive beast that nobody on this planet likes when it's on the other team. But anyway, I'm basically now up to full health again and this thing's toxic. And at this stage, I'm thinking he's choice because he switched out, uh, hard switched after using Volt Switch on my uh, Greninja. But um, I, I protect to see what he wants to do here. He gets the Hydro Pump. Now I'm max special defense on this Heatran. And I'm expecting to take a Hydro Pump. Maybe around half HP, which is in fact what does happen. And because I have the Protect on this, I can take two turns to uh, recover lefties. And that means I can take another Hydro Pump. Also means I can then start switching around safer. Um, he go Now I give the Stealth Rocks on this turn. I think I can take one. I know he has a Spinner in his Extra Drill. And I do have Defog on my Zapdos, but the fact is, do I want to have him have rocks up in expense me having rocks and a layer of spikes up? I don't know, but it doesn't come to that stage anyway. I go for the Protect again, just to get a bit of lefties, um, and I'm now back to over half, which probably means I could potentially take another Hydro Pump. Um, Toxic, though, is starting to rack up big time on a Rotom, and I'm still thinking he's choice here, so I swap out. Uh, into my Neuvern here to take the Hydro Pump, which is what I'm expecting, because obviously it'll be uh, resisted. Turns out this thing's uh, Resto Chesto Rotom, and that completely annoyed me, and I knew that I couldn't take this Rotom out in one hit with my Neuvern, basically because I was in this exact same situation against Fufu. Now, I don't know if they have the same EVs and IVs and whatnot, but uh, I was expecting this Draco Meteor to bring it extremely low uh, into the low red range, which uh, is what it does, um, but sadly doesn't take it out. And he's going to use this opportunity to bring in his Azumarill, 
which uh, I, I knew would be an expense of me going for this Draco Meteor, but I thought, you know what, let's just go for it. No event's going to be quite useless to me in this battle, I will sack it off, Garchomp might be a bit more useful, purely because I've got the Scarf on it, and it'll just outspeed lots of things. Uh, in comes Azumarill, I can't touch this because I am Choice Specs Noivern. It's what gives Noivern its power. I'm going to have to hard switch here. I could have stayed in and died, but uh, I decided not to. In comes Heatran to take the potential incoming play rough, but he goes for the Aqua Jet here, obviously expecting the switch into Heatran. Uh, and it doesn't actually kill me, which is surprising. I don't know why he didn't go for the Waterfall, really. There was no reason for him not to. It was a free hit on anything he wanted to hit. So, actually, no idea why he went for the Waterfall. Ah, he, w he wouldn't have known actually I was Specs, to be fair. He won't have gone... Yeah, he wouldn't have known I was Specs. Um, so anyway, I, get I actually go for the Lava Plume here, uh, just kind of to die. Um, but he actually goes for the Waterfall, not the Aqua Jet. So I would have actually Aqua Jet on that turn if I was him, because I wouldn't run the risk of getting burnt then. That Lava Plume could have burnt him and made this battle a whole lot easier. But anyway, I'm going to bring in Zapdos here, um, obviously scaring him off with the Thunderbolt, but because I know he has the Hip Howled on, and he has the extra drill. I don't want to go for the Thunderbolt just yet because obviously it won't affect them. Now, Rotom comes in after Spikes and Rocks. I basically Heat Wave would have probably taken it out from that range anyway. But I went for the Heat Wave, expecting the extra drill. Uh, maybe I was thinking he might want the free switch so he could get a rapid spin off, but he doesn't actually do that. And I'm making all sorts of funny hand movements right now. It's quite weird. Now in comes the extra drill, and he's thinking right. Or oh, maybe he doesn't realise I'm a defensively bulky Zapdos, and uh, that might be the downfall for him. I think this is where the momentum slightly changed a bit. He gets the Rock Slide and miss, which was quite unfortunate. Don't think it really had too much of an effect on the outcome, though. Um, my Heat Wave does a clean 70% to that thing, and uh, the Balloon does pop, but not that it mattered at all. The Rock Slide does hit this time, but as you can see, bulky Zapdos takes it like an absolute champion. And I would have been able to take two uh, and kill this thing anyway, as long as he didn't get a flinch on either two. Uh, so the heat wave does indeed kill this. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Extra drill, that's the one. Mr. Moly Mole from. Uh, I can't even remember what the name of that TV show is, but it was like a kids' program when I was little. Anyway, Zapdos is just chilling here, but I know he has the Weavile, which he can bring in to revenge kill. Now, actually, after f after seeing the Rock Slide, I oh, actually no no no, it's just occurred to me Rock Slide is not stab on extra drill. So I was going to say I'd be quite surprised if I died to an Ice Punch here, but it is Stab, and Weavile is actually pretty strong anyway. He gets the Fake Out here, which I disagree with, because it's Life Orb damage to him, and after the actual damage he done to me in Leftovers, he probably was worse off than I was. Um, and plus, Ice Punch would have probably taken me out that turn, because I'm only at like 10 HP less than I was last turn, and this Ice Punch just kills me, so... Yeah, that, that's how it works. But the good news for me is that that, that Fake Out cock-up of his uh, allowed me to kind of stay in charge of this game as you'll see I decide to bring in my uh, Noivern here to sack it off either he's not carrying the ice shard and I can go for a flamethrower or he kills me and goes down into a range where I can then bring in my uh, newly beloved Mega Gallade oh my god guys this thing is so good um, but anyway he's now in the red I wasn't sure if Shadow Sneak would kill it from when it was in the orange so uh, I now have Mega Gallade here chilling Obviously, I'm going to hit that big old Mega Revolve button. The Galadite is reacting to Shorty's Mega Bracelet. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, uh, Mega Galade. Uh, yeah, just Shadow Sneak and it's just going to kill it, basically. Unfortunately, I don't get to show Mega Galade off so much this battle as I have in a couple of other battles I've had, which I didn't actually record. Or, I've got saved and haven't been recorded yet, I should say. So, uh, that thing goes down, which is brilliant because it was fast and it threatened my uh, Garchomp. So now he hasn't got, actually got a check for Garchomp because Gallade is just going to put massive holes into this stupid hippo thing. I mean, it's stupid because <laughs> it takes these hits so well, but he can't kill me off in one hit because Mega Gallade, especially, uh, especially, especially defensive side, is bulky. He's bulky and fast and hits hard. I think he's got like base, it's either base 160 or I think it's 180 attack. So, I mean, I've run Jolly. So he's max speed, but he still has like 429 attack or something. So I didn't go close combat first time because I didn't want to get the defense drop. So I didn't know if I could take an earthquake then. But I would go for the psycho cut. Didn't get the crit, which is annoying because I would have probably taken it out. I go for the close combat this time because I'm thinking, well, I'm going to die to an earthquake anyway. So let's just go for it. I don't want to play any switching shenanigans because I have Greninja and I have my Garchomp left. And I was thinking, right, Garchomp is going to win me this game um, quite easily. So I'm just going to keep, I'm going to throw out Greninja right now. I'll take this thing because it's going to be quicker and easier. I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. Don't want to risk missing the uh, Hydro Pump. So uh, this this Hippowdon's now gone. Thank you for being weak to Ice-types, Groudon. Groudon, Hippowdon. 
too much, too much story mode for me in Oras has just screwed my mind over. Um, but I take him out with the Ice Beam, and I believe it's now two versus one. His Azumarill versus my Greninja and my Garchomp. So yeah, it's actually got the type advantage over me here. Um, but Spikes and Stealth Rocks, guys, it's Spikes and Stealth Rocks, which helps me out a bit here. Um, I can go for the Dark Pulse. Obviously, I'm an Ice type, so you can go for the Aqua Jet. I don't actually have anything for this. I don't carry the Grass Knot. I carry Spikes instead because people don't expect Spikes as much, and obviously I get them. I then like trick the Electric type of it. Um, but after Lefty, not Lefties, after the Sandstorm and Life Orb, uh, I'm pretty much dead. So he's gonna go for another Aqua Jet on the next turn to kill me. Um, and I'm I'm fine with that because if he wants to do that, Sandstorm's gonna hit. Well, actually, he's not gonna hit him because I think it wears out after this turn. Um, so he does take me down with the Aqua Jet, but he's at such a low range of health, um, where he's obviously going to die to a Garchomp to Earthquake, and he can't kill me with an Aqua Jet, he has to go for the play rough and hope I miss somehow, but I don't. So, Red J, that was a brilliant game, dude, thank you for uh, playing me, it was lots of fun. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!